It's Tom Pachowski with his eyes on the numbers. How are we starting off today, Tom? Well, Pete, it's a reasonably positive start that we're looking at, even though the size is pretty modest. The futures are pointing to a gain of a quarter of a percent. But worth putting that into context, on Friday we saw quite a steep decline for the local share market, falling by around 0.9 of a percent. Uh, and in, in weekly terms, we registered another decline down by about a half of 1%. We've only risen uh, for one of the last four weeks uh, in, in weekly terms as far as the ASX 200 is concerned. But uh, more importantly, Pete, on Friday, markets globally threaded the needle on one of the more important events that we have uh, seen on the calendar in recent times. It was the Central Bank meeting uh, in the US at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, central bankers from around the world converged on this place at the weekend uh, to talk about uh, things relating to central bank issues. Uh, <laughs> but importantly, on Friday, the markets uh, took in their stride the speech that was made by Jerome Powell. So again, he navigated a very delicate course between uh, the need to uh, navigate economic outcomes, inflation, uh, growth and interest rates. The market at face value seemed to take that reasonably well. We saw modest gains for US stocks. The uh, Dow and the S&P 500 each improved by 0.7 of a percent. The Nasdaq did quite well. It was up 0.9 of a percent. Uh, and importantly, Pete, uh, interest rate markets were pretty well contained again under the circumstances uh, these words had the ability to roil the markets if they were poorly placed and so they seemed to hit the mark and we saw a very modest moves where interest rate markets are concerned so that brings us to the local session today as i said up by a quarter of a percent at the start uh, markets globally will be watching carefully to see how asian interest rate markets perform in the aftermath of everything that got said in jackson hole at the weekend uh, and another important barometer is that the aussie dollar is um uh, behaving itself at the moment. It's trading just north of 64 US cents. Had something uh, out of left field come on the weekend. You'd see the Aussie dollar uh, becoming a casualty of the US dollar. So that's an important point to make. All right, Tom, thank you.